Travis Suitland man is pushing to stop gun violence in his neighborhood. He recently spoke at a community safety meeting after a 16 year old was murdered and his words caught the attention of 7 News Liana Golden. I'm going to speak if anything Suitland, I'm going to speak up for because this, you know, my community this is my home. That's where I'm from. With Suitland on his hat, on his shirt and on the shirts of his brothers, I don't think there's anyone who loves his home more than Anthony Washburn. I live everywhere in Suitland that you could think of. So when he heard these shots <laughs> of a 16 year old's murder and saw the dozens of people who showed up to speak about safety in their community, it made him ask what community? It's your neighbor, man. All of these children, it was it was a kids that killed kids. It wasn't grown men or on them on that video. We everybody could see with two eyes that it was kids that killed kids. So all the people that say that Sulin is your home, make sure your neighbor is your neighbor, your friend is your friend. And a lot of the folks who live here are saying we want more police officers, we want more patrols, but you were saying that might not be the solution here. What what do you think being part of the community is one of the answers? Just seeing the red and blue lights, just seeing the car, just seeing them driving in the neighborhood is gonna do the job. I think we gotta hold the police accountable and we need to have better relationships with the police. We need to have better bridges with the police, create bridges with the police in the neighborhoods. But he recognizes it's not a one man job. In my life, I never heard, and you could probably finish the sentence on me, I never heard that a household raise a child, a school raise a child, a police officer raise a child, a neighborhood. I heard it was a village. Every time since I was a kid, I always heard a village raise a child. It takes a, a village. It takes a village, right? A village of both people and activities. It ain't no type of rehabilitative. Uh, institutions in Suitland for these children. What are they supposed to do? You have to have uh, demonstrations and examples from the community that they relate to. And some of us, majority of us, are felons. That's why they listen to us because they we made the mistakes that they are about to do in their lives. We we live the same lives as them, the same places as them. With the safety walk planned in Suitland on August 10th, he's calling on his community. To come out. If we don't save these children, these children are going to have more children from the same community that's going, it's just a cycle. In Largo, Liana Golden, 7 News.